We are now going to move on to multiplication. Now before we begin, I just want to clarify that when I use numbers over here to represent the numbers that we are multiplying, it is not part of the whole number that we are looking at. That just automatically comes at the top, but once again, we are not using that to represent anything. So for example, I think that represents about 20 billion, and that is not necessary or part of this question at all. So for example, if you wanted to do 2 times 4, we can have a column here that represents 2 and this times 4, and we can just do 2 times 4, which is 8, and put that over here, 5 plus 3, 8, there is our answer. So as you can see, this method requires that one knows how to multiply at least from 1 times 1 all the way up to 9 digits. So now we are going to multiply 17 by 18, and I'm just going to get rid of this. So let's enter 17 into the first two columns. There's 1, 5, 2, 17, and 18. We'll leave a little blank column so we can distinguish between the two. Here we have, oops, that's 5. There's 1, 5, 18. So we're going to multiply 17 by 18. So first, it's kind of like the distributive property. We're going to take the 1 here and multiply it by the 1 here, which obviously gives us 1, and put that right there. Then we're going to multiply the 1 by the 8, which gives us 8. So we have 5 plus 3, which is 8. Now we're going to multiply the 7 by this 1. That gives us 7. And we have to add that to this middle column here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now we have to multiply the 7 by the 8, which is 56. So we have to add 5 to this column, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we need to borrow from here, so that's 5 and 6 over here. So as you can see, we have 306, and that is what we actually need, so that's pretty good. So now we are going to multiply 132 by 15. So let's just clear all this, and we have 132 times 15. Okay, so let's do the same process, 1 times 1, which is 1, and 1 times 5, which is obviously 5. Okay, now we are going to do 3 times 1, which is 3, 1, 2, 3. And now we are going to do 3 times 5, which is 15. So there's 5, there's a 1. And now we are going to do 2 times 1, which is 1, 2. And 2 times 5, which is 10. So we can't take anything from here. And there's a 10, and our, our answer is 1,980, and that is correct.